News on this Tuesday, Tennessee has added NC State to the schedule for the 2024 season. This was the spot where Oklahoma was supposed to be. So it's not a season opener, Hubs. Right. It's week two, and it's in Charlotte. It's not a home game, and it's also not a road game. Yeah, it's kind of the two, the two people left at the bar at the end of the night who are, who are leaving <laughs> together is kind of what this is. Because NC State was in need of a, a game, not a home and home. They needed a game. Tennessee was put in a position that they needed a game when the SEC came out and said, you can't play the Oklahoma game because the Sooners are coming into this conference. But yeah, you still get need a power five. But they have not revoked the rule that says you, you can't, you, you, it still says you have to play a Power 5 school non-conference. So here's Tennessee, and in a short window of period, they were looking for a home game, if they could find one, against a Power 5 team, but they weren't going to be able to reciprocate it with a home game back to them, most likely. So they were looking for a one-off. NC State was looking for a one-off. Both these teams found that one-off, and instead of playing it in, in Neyland Stadium, NC State said, well, we'll play you, but we don't want to play you there. They found you know common ground in Charlotte in what's going to be the Duke's mayonnaise preseason classic. Um, don't, not sure if that means you're going to dump mayonnaise on the winning team or not. But anyway, it's going to if be. If I know week the two. head coach here, he will not <laughs> sign up for that. It, it will be this. It will be week two. Tennessee's going to open the season at home against Chattanooga on a Saturday. There's not going to be a Thursday night game and or a, a, a non-traditional game day for Tennessee, and they're not going to open on the road. They're going to open at home. Then week two. They will go and take on NC State in this game. And then from there, we'll see what the schedule looks like when the SEC gets things ironed out. You've got uh, UTSA, you got University of Texas San Antonio on the schedule, Chattanooga, as we mentioned. And then the other school that's on the schedule right now is Kent State. But there is an out in that contract that says if the league goes to nine conference games, and you have to get rid of a game, that would be the one that would that would depart, what would be that game. So um, a lot of moving parts still, but you know where you stand on that one game you're trying to find with the loss of, of the Oklahoma game. Tennessee, for this game, will get $4 million, which, you know, I mean, with all the construction going on, on campus helps go fund buildings, right? Yeah, and, and Danny White's made it clear, and he, and he did it in the in the university release that the four million dollars from this game is going directly to the players' lounge construction that's taking place here behind us at the Anderson Training Center. Tennessee does have a lot of construction going on right now. They're trying to raise funds and everything, but they're going to earmark this money specifically for that football project. And um, you know, again. In talking to Danny White, he's not a, he, he doesn't just love neutral site games. He's not out looking to schedule a bunch of neutral site games. His hands were pretty tied on, on this one here from the standpoint of he was looking for a team and, and there just wasn't a lot of options because you weren't going to do home and homes. And then the big question moving forward, Austin, is how many home and homes are we really going to see outside of SEC play moving forward? Yeah, because coaches are going to be with, with, with their ability to keep a job dictated by wins and losses they're not going to want to give up one of those cupcake games when they're in a nine-game conference schedule. So which, I, I'm with you on that. Well, which is going to make it interesting for Kentucky and Louisville, South Carolina, Clemson, Georgia, Georgia Tech, Florida, Florida State. Some of these schools that play their in-state, quote, rival in, in a non-conference game. It. And, and a lot of those coaches are screen, going to scream foul that that's you know putting them at a disadvantage with things. Some people would say expansion of the playoffs means there's more wiggle room to lose, so you should play those games. Yeah. I don't think we're going to know how that all plays out until we get through the playoff expansion and kind of see it work itself out for a couple of years. So it's Tennessee, it's NC State, it's in Charlotte, week two, not week one, of the 2024 season. No word yet if CP will flip the coin or this guy will giggle. <laughs> The Giggle Game, coming back, Tennessee and NC State, coming up fall of 2024.